So hi, um, this thing arrived today and uh, yeah, uh, this should be, by tracking anyway, uh, the charger that I've ordered off of AliExpress and the same one can be found on Amazon and uh, the price on Amazon is like twice what on AliExpress is. Let's test it, let's open it and let's test it, let's see what's inside, let's see whether it's good or not. I will be testing this thing with my uh, 200 watts uh, Ugreen charger and I have a couple of cables that I actually bought off of the uh, AliExpress which are also sold on Amazon and this, this cable was like three bucks and on Amazon is like 13 so uh, and this thing arrived like within two weeks so awesome so I have this one which says 100 W and I'm not quite sure whether this thing is 100 watts or not but we'll be testing it and I do have a MacBook Pro uh, which I believe draws around 70 watts 65 70 so if this cable supports more unfortunately I won't be able to show you that but in my book 70 watts is good enough I have this cable as well uh, which is a Ugreen which I uh, think I got with the uh, charger itself this one <laughs> this one I thought that this thing is a display this is a sticker and uh, when you look at the uh, AliExpress listing it looks like it's a display and it would be cool to say how much it draws because uh, for example this one actually has a functioning display and this one is brand Tutski something like that uh, T-O-O-C-K-I so Tutski I know this one is Tutski as well but it has it's not a WSB-C but uh, the older one this one is Tutski but I think it's three meters so it'll be uh, two meters sorry this one is S a gear I think it's basically the same the same brand just uh, the um, other you know, label provided. I think that all of these are actually made by the same company and just sold to different brands and just stamped their logos. So we'll see if this thing can draw 70 watts I am a happy person. Okay and I do actually have in here two testers which I'll be using. So I have actually three I'm not quite sure where the third one is. Let me go and find it. And this is my third tester so uh, we'll see whether this thing actually can, first of all we'll see whether this power adapter which is declared to be 65 watts can actually supply 65 watts and uh, okay but by the way packing this is AliExpress they've really improved so this one is 8 port smart yeah LCD display device okay let's see what's, uh, what's, what are the features so basically uh, the input is from 100 to 240 volts, so this is kind of cool because you can use it all around the world because it's 50 to 60 hertz. And the outputs are uh, from 5 volts to 20 volts, even those uh, older ones, you know, have uh, 20 volts output, so this is kind of cool. Okay, this unboxing already sucks, okay. I mean, I will be throwing the box away, but okay, it fell off. So... Um, I can tell you right away, this charger is actually heavier than expected and uh, ooh, do we get like that sweet peeling moment. I mean this thing is dirty on the other side. Yep. I don't know whether you can see it or not. But this thing is actually dirty on the uh, inside. Oh well. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but uh, okay. What else is inside? We get a nice white power cable. It actually looks quite sexy. Okay, so first of all, okay, let's see whether this thing actually works. Okay. So basically, uh, all of the. Uh, ports are uh, at 5 volts by default and that kind of makes sense. Okay, you know, first of all, let's test uh, this one and let's test it with my uh, iPhone. So, first cable is Tutski. So we are charging, I don't know whether you can see it or not. We are charging at 7, 8 watts. And uh, in here it says 1.3 amps, 9 volts, uh, 1.3 amps. And this is kind of cool because it does draw 9 volts. So we are already at 17 watts, 18 watts, 16. Okay, now let's use the tester and let's see what's the real wattage around here and voltage. Okay. So. 
so we are 0 0.65 amps and uh, yeah actually 1.2 okay this is actually showing it quite nicely and we are at uh, 14 watts and uh, this cable actually shows uh, shows this thing correctly and I'm sorry if it does not focus and uh, unfortunately I guess the iPhone does not want to go higher than 9 volts which is kind of strange but then again it is an iPhone so uh. so okay let's disconnect it the next device I have is this uh, portable dildo everything is dildo if you're brave enough I guess so let's see the uh, power consumption on this thing so we are at 20 watts right away 23 watts and uh, okay we are 20 volts 1.1 amp and uh, sure enough yeah so yeah this is actually this cable is showing the uh, uh so it can do 23 watts already so this is kind of nice okay and uh, this cable uh, this <laughs> detector on the cable is actually working quite ni nicely so uh Tutski, actually cool so let's see now in theory this thing should go up to 30 watts because uh, this port can only go up to 30 watts so let's try to charge my Mac 1 watts, 2 watts gives up 30 watts so uh, that thing is actually correct and it is awesome so the next thing I will be testing is the uh, these two ports actually give uh, 20 watts, so let's see whether it will give out 20. Okay. 20 watts, 19, 20 watts. Awesome. And now, uh, let's see whether this USB can actually charge Mac. And I have my doubts, but then again, if it can give 20 volts this might actually work okay so let's hook this thing up this is a better charger so let's connect the uh, USB-C by the way how smart is charging uh, Mac with the uh, cheap power supply from uh, Aliexpress I don't think that it's smart enough but as you can see this thing does not want to go to uh, <laughs> 20 volts. It only goes to 8 volts. No, it only goes to 5 volts, sorry. So you know what? Let's see if I can actually, sorry, uh, menu. Okay, let's go to, I think, toolbox. And uh, automatic detection. I think that this thing, okay, so 5 volts is detected, 1.5 amps. okay so uh yeah i mean i'm guessing that these uh, that these uh these ones are only uh five volts and 2.4 amps or 1.2 it says which is kind of strange let's try to connect this thing and let's try to connect it to the uh portable dildo just out of curiosity, I want to see whether it will draw 2 amps or not. So this cable... Okay, it's drawing something, but... Uh, so, this thing is lit up. I don't know whether you can see it or not. So it's charging. Yet, the uh, detector does not say that it draws anything. Can it be that this is due to the uh, my tester? Yeah, so uh, the cable is lit up, this thing is charging, but nothing is detected, so this cable already sucks. Okay, let's try to go through this thing. Okay, so uh, something is very off with this cable. And then, what? And let's try to disconnect it, and let's try to see what will happen if I connect it directly yeah nothing so you know what this cable which is I'm not even sure what the brand is 
TDY612, it sucks. Okay, let's try to connect it with, uh, to the, uh, well, U-Green, just out of curiosity to see maybe something is wrong with this thing. So yeah, it does not draw anything, strange, and you know what, I won't be even testing the micro USB because if it does not work with the USB-C, fuck it. So uh, this cable, and I will be uh, <laughs> placing the uh, brand name in the description, sucks, and uh, yeah. Well, that's one down, so okay. Let's test the next one, which is this one, which is Tutski. It also has the uh, older USB. So, let's see whether this power supply will show anything detected connected to Tutski. Okay. So, again, display. But it says zero watts okay and let's try to connect it to the u green so my guess is that this thing only works with the uh, devices that actually because i i believe that the uh, it's not properly detected when it's drawing when it's working only with five volts so maybe some kind of a response error okay what else do I have? You know what? Let me get my... Uh, I actually have a mechanical keyboard and let me see whether it will detect the keyboard because the keyboard actually charges only uh, with 5 volts. So, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry the keyboard is dusty. Disgusting. What can you do? Um, okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's actually showing that it's drawing 5 watts to charge the keyboard because it is charging it only uh, on 5 volts. So, I guess uh, when device asks for more than 5 volts, these cheaper cables do not, well, cheaper cables, even the power supply, do not detect the uh, wattage used. So, I'm guessing if I connect this cable to this uh, charger, I'll probably get results. Now, yeah, as you can see, 1, one amp. So, uh, yeah. So, and even in here it says 1.2 uh, amps, I think, yeah, 1.3, 1.2. So yeah, it is working, and uh, unfortunately I'm guessing that it only works for devices that uh, that only draw 5 volts. I mean, it's okay, there are like 4 USB-Cs, so good enough. Now, I do wonder, since this thing can draw 30 watts, and this thing can draw 30 watts, if I connect my Mac, so this cable is actually the normal one, it's working only for uh, devices that only uh, want 5 volts. So, kind of sucks, but kind of okay. Let's try. Now, uh, to connect, for example, iMac, and uh, it does draw 30 watts. Okay. And let's try with the uh, SA Gear cable one. But this cable, uh, all of them, they are so they, they look so like uh, you know, good quality. Okay. So I'm guessing that this one will draw 30 watts as well. Now let's see whether it will work. So 21 watts, 19 watts, 23. I mean, as as I said, I guess that they are all the same brand. So basically, whether you buy them on uh, AliExpress or on Amazon, is the same. So we have actually 50 watts, and this one is drawing 30. Okay, and as you can see, it uh, yeah, it's all all uh, within parameters. Let's connect this thing. In this cable, let's see whether it will give out what as well. Yeah, 1.2 watts. So uh, this little power supply is actually quite okay. Everything is this one is uh, yeah, it's 30 watts, so I don't have anything else to connect. Kind of sucks. Okay, all of the cables are working within parameters, and this little power supply is working as well. 
uh, let's try the last test and that is to connect uh, these two cables to my uh, Ugreen power supply which is 200 watts and let's see whether it'll work or not so uh, I'm guessing that this I, I believe that this is 70 80 watts per port we'll see so we are drawing 64 watts 76 83 watts 88 watts 90 watts so this is uh this is 88 watts and you know what let me connect the tester just to be sure because you know everything is a scam so this thing might be a scam as well i'm not quite sure whether the tester can draw that much Twenty-four watts, fifty-eight, seventy. Sorry about the focus. So basically, this cable can go up to ninety watts, or I have a device that goes up to ninety watts. So this cable is awesome. This is like six bucks, I think, maybe even less. Four bucks, six bucks. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Now the only thing I will be testing, and I will be leaving in the comment whether it does get hot, because if it gets hot, then it would suck. But yeah, 83 watts, no problem. 90 watts, no problem. So this is the uh, this is the Tutski one. So let's see whether the uh, SA gear can draw 90 watts as well. Okay. But I think that th they will be able. And this one is longer. I believe this one is uh, two meters. Yeah, about time. Yeah, this one is two meters, 90 watts, without a problem. So uh, this is a no-brainer. I will be leaving the price in the description down below, but yeah, no-brainer. So if you like this video, please click like, you know, share, subscribe. I'll you know the drill. Until the next time. Awesome. And you know what? The last cable I will be testing is the uh, Ugreen one. Just to see whether it does support 90 watts, because it did come with the... Uh, well, it did come with the uh, charger that is bad, motherfucker. Okay. Strange. It only charges at uh, 55 watts. Huh. Go figure.